Freya might look like a family pet, but she could also be a lifesaver. She's one of three dogs specially trained to sniff out the lethal mosquito-borne disease, malaria. Freya's nose led her to one of these brown socks, used in a study of over 100 children with and without malaria. Mosquitoes, just like these ones, are responsible for carrying the malaria parasite and infecting children across the world, including some of those involved in this study in the Gambia. They were given nylon socks, a little bit like these, to wear. The material was then split from top to toe and given to medical detection dogs here in the UK to see whether they could sniff out the odour of malaria. The success rate was clear. The dogs sniffed 175 samples and managed to correctly identify 70% of the socks worn by malaria-positive children and 90% of the samples without malaria parasites. So when you are malaria positive and you actually have that infection, um, what the parasite does is it changes your body odour. So your body odour is the way that the mosquito is able to detect you and is able to find you as a blood source. Although this research is still in its early stages, scientists hope eventually these trained super smellers could help spot infected people at ports and airports and help stop malaria spreading. It's finding a new way to identify people who may not feel sick but are carrying malaria in their systems and could therefore pass it to other people through the bite of a mosquito. So for countries that have eliminated, it's a really interesting potential new way that they could protect their borders and keep their countries malaria free. The race is now on for the next step, seeing if canine companions can sniff out malaria not just on socks but directly in humans themselves. If so, you could be seeing more Paw Patrols with their noses a quiver on your travels in future. Lorna Shaddock, Sky News.